your brain will always want you to escape stressful situations. Hey ladies, I'm back. Another day, another podcast. Okay, so this week I've been talking about habits and uh, referring back to James Clear's Atomic Habits. Uh, James Clear, that's the author, the book called Atomic Habits. And I had a situation happen yesterday where I was cutting my son's hair. Yes, I cut my boy's hair. I'm definitely not a hairstylist, but um, it saves a few bucks. So anyways, I was cutting my youngest's hair, and he's six years old, and he doesn't like his haircut. So I got the little buzzer out, and I'm doing around the neck, and he's like, it tickles, it tickles, it tickles. And then all of a sudden, he starts to scream. And he's screaming, he's screaming, he's screaming. He's like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And then so once the haircut was done, once it was complete, takes a shower, all the hair's gone on his neck, he's happier than a pig in shit. And I knew, because this isn't his typical way of being, that obviously he was in a situation where he was uncomfortable. He was in a situation where he didn't like the feeling. He didn't like, he doesn't like hair on his neck. And he says, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. So in this moment, I know his body is just reacting to the stress response, right? The fight or flight. And he wanted to run away. And I said, sorry, bud, you can't, let's get it done. And so he just sat there and he screamed bloody murder. And then once it was done and he took a shower and he felt better, he's like, Oh, I feel amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Like I love my haircut. And that's all he was doing. He was just like praising the haircut and you could see this lightness in his face. And I thought to myself, this is exactly what all humans do. But when you are unaware of the evolution of discomfort and the purpose of it, you will not run towards the discomfort. What you will do is chronically bump into your glass ceiling of the comfort zone. So they always say everything happens outside the comfort zone. And so many times I'm talking to women and we you know, we and they, because we all have excuses, use excuses. I don't have time. My kids are young. You know, my husband works a lot. I just, you know, I, I, do, I don't know how to cook. I can't eat healthy. I can't make more money in my business because people in my industry just don't make more money and blah, blah, blah. And all of these bullshit excuses. And the truth is, yeah, maybe you're a trailblazer. Maybe what you want to do has never been done before. But the truth is, the truth is, the truth is, I always say the truth is, if you want a different life, you have to do things differently. And in order to do things differently, you have to get outside your comfort zone. And when you get outside your comfort zone, your body is going to be stressed out. Your body is going to say to you, stop, don't. You're going to fight and cause drama or you're going to run away. So in that moment, in that moment, ask yourself, Is this temporary discomfort worth what is going to happen to me on the other side? So I think about my son's haircut and how I was resisting it, resisting it, resisting it. And every day, you know, it's like something else on my to-do list. Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. And I'm looking at his hair. I'm like, he's got to get a haircut. He's got to get a haircut. That is a representation of our resistance to implementing new habits, right? Okay, boys, once a month, you're getting a new haircut. No, I was resisting, 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 resisting. So once I implemented it, the freak out comes, right? The discomfort, the resilience training. Oh my God, I don't like this. Oh my God, I don't like this. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Fight or flight, fight or flight, fight or flight. And then pushing through on the other side, what's left? My son is happy. He has a new haircut. And yeah, he might be traumatized a little bit, but he, the risk and resilience, he now knows what it feels like to be on the other side of discomfort. So this simple practical process is equivalent to what we do as humans every single day. I'm too tired. I can't get up. Um, I can't make more money in my business. Oh, it's too hard for me to do X, Y, Z. It's not that it's hard. It's not that it's actually hard. It's that it makes you uncomfortable. So today is going to be short and sweet. 
and I'm going to ask you one simple question. Habits are there to help you create consistency in your mind, your body, and your soul to create the life that you want. But what emotion have you been avoiding your whole life? What feeling in your body temporarily scares the shit out of you when you feel it? Because I'm telling you right now, I've heard people actually say to me in the, in the past, I don't do stress. I don't do guilt. I don't do fear. I don't do overwhelm. But sometimes you have to go through the overwhelm. You invite it in. You're like, come on, overwhelm, instead of running away from it. Because just because you're overwhelmed with something doesn't mean you run and hide. So look it in the face. It's not scary. It's just trying to get your attention. What is scary is what happens when you don't take action. Okay, that's all I got for you today. Short and sweet. Thank you guys for those of you who've been um, connecting with me on Instagram and following me and sending me your questions. We are creating a tally of them um, and we'll be getting to them as the uh, podcast continues because I'm doing a podcast a day for 365 days in 2019. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, we still have a few more tickets left for the one day mastermind that is here. It's the women's leadership mastermind. Uh, you can check that out at mamasincontrol.com forward slash one day. And that's going to be on February 22nd. So head on over to mamasincontrol.com forward slash one day for your tickets. <laughs>